Good evening YouTube, welcome to another video, it is Steve, today we are here to review ZBC Studios Supernova Cooler, uh, and um, I am going to say that I am kind of 50-50 on this one, so before we get into the overall build of this statue, I do want to notice a couple things, I do have the majority of the statue built, but as you can see, there are still some pieces that I cannot figure out where they go, and I do know the majority of those go onto the energy bar like that one here um but they really you can see there's a hole that it goes into they don't stay very well uh someone's gonna give me a hand send me some pictures uh this one i actually just glued in because uh it was gonna fall out uh so first things first first of all the first thing i noticed was this uh that is a horrible paint job uh and i don't know why they did that i've never seen any studio paint the dragon ball a flat yellow that is just laziness on ZBC's part. Also, below this, the uh, the usual authenticity sticker was not on the bottom. You had to put it on yourself, and it was also not numbered. So mine literally says slash 50. There is no number, and there was no other COA that came with this statue. Very disappointing. Also more disappointing, when I open up this statue, is Cooler's hand was broken right there. That I had to glue him back, but there's a noticeable chip there. And this blue piece was also not glued. Uh, it was just kind of rumbling around. You can also see, too, that the connection, you can still see where the peg is. Uh, and even the paint job it just seems eh. You know, so uh, very disappointed. This seems almost like a uh, kind of a quick buy-in. Now, I will say, though, that in terms of size, that this is a pretty big statue. This is classified as a one-sixth statue, but easily rivals the height of a lot of one-fourths. You can see there's Kefler right there on a little bit of a Lazy Susan, but cooler dwarfs over him and this is probably the biggest energy ball that i've ever seen any statue have it does light up but even the inside battery pack seems extremely rusted uh and and, and dusty so uh yeah i you know i think maybe in the long run you know it's just just for the sake of having a cooler that it would be nice because i mean it doesn't look absolutely horrible um you know and but it just wasn't um feasible to put together also all these little pieces here there are magnets inside the base there was no outline as to where these go you know like if i take off this piece here there's nothing there there's there's nothing there you almost have to kind of just guess and see it snaps back in so you have to literally guess where these go and there's there's a bunch of these little aura pieces you know that, that come not to mention that the um but these pieces here are also very tough to stay in as well. Uh, and like I said, there is a bunch. Uh, will most people care if I have them on? Probably not, but I do. So uh, I wish when studios have a lot of pieces that they would give you um, either a video to go off of or a instruction manual. Um, so all in all, I would say I'm about 50-50 on this piece. Not worth the price uh, from an autistic point. Uh, like I said, size-wise, it is pretty cool, and it does stand out um, as an interesting piece. Um, uh, the box also was fairly huge. Uh, it did come with an art box, but again, nothing that tells me what edition size I have. <coughs> All I know is that there are 50 of these, and I have one of them. So, a very small, limited edition run. Um, <coughs> it would be a bitch to resell, but yeah. You know, you'll see even in the back here, pieces don't fit in all the way. So, yeah, it, it is what it is. But this is definitely not one that I'm extremely favorite on. Although most people who would come in would probably still look at it and be like, hey, that's cool. But because I'm a purist and I, I see these things, I'm kind of like, eh. You know, I mean, it's definitely not a bad statue, but definitely a lot of cosmetic work. And, you know, bummer that that had to be fixed. Like, that's a bummer right there. You know, I can't sell this thing for anything now. Um, and, and I'll, I'll reach out to the guy I bought it from, but I doubt they'll be able to do anything because this was not a separate piece. So, I think that's what the problem was. But, yeah, I mean, this is where the kicker right here, that, that bothers me. You know, yeah, even, even, even that, Dragon Ball, I mean, 
It is what it is. But there he goes. That ZBC Supernova Cooler. Uh, he might still be available. I don't know. But let me know what you think, guys. Uh, see you on the next video.